Hey guys, what's up? Devin coming to you with another uh, another underused card segment. Uh, this time we have a magical mallet. So um, what I figured I was gonna do was um, I'll just do like one of these segments once a week on uh, Tuesdays, cause it takes me a while to try and find a card that's underused, cause I had to like do some research on it, see if it's actually been used or not. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Go with a um, magical mallet. If um, you checked out my deck profile, my ninja deck, my updated ninja ninja deck profile, then you'd know that I ran that I run a uh, magical mallet in there. But um, I took it out because every time I got it, I would just keep dead drawing with it. It'd be like the only card I had in my hand, where I'd have only one other card, and I'd need that card. So uh, I mean, it's a good card for like if you get off with like a bad draw. So, let's say, for example, you get, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use my uh, ninja deck as an example here. Uh, let's say you get, let's say that, um, This is your opening hand. You have two Ninja 2 Art of Transformation, a Duplication of Freezing, and a Ninja 2 Art of Alchemy. With all of that, you don't have anything, you don't have any plays, you can't do anything really. The card you draw is a ma magical mallet. What I would do is I would keep the two transformations in my hand and then throw everything else back into my deck, shuffle up, and draw three new cards because I can return any number I want. There's another card like this, Reload, but you had to shuffle your whole hand in, so, yeah. Draw three new cards, and just like that, you get you get something good. You get a monster, you got a Suzuki, MST, and a Duality. You use the Duality, and there's a Hanzo. Take the Hanzo, summon it, add any Ninja 2 Art Trap you want, summon, set a card, uh, or three, really, just to uh, take out their back row. I mean, and just like that, you manage to uh, turn a really crappy hand into a really good play, because during the next turn, you can tribute Hanzo and summon Simmerig before they can even do anything. So, I mean, you, basically what you did is, just because of one card, you were able to get a 2700 beater out, which prevents your, mom, your opponent from setting cards whatsoever. So, that's pretty good. I mean, that's what I think is so good about this card that I kind of shuffle back into my deck. Um, I think I might run it again because just because just of that. I mean, when I was running it, I just never was finding any use for it. It would just be like, oh, I draw this, but I don't need it right now because I'm winning. And then I'd find out later. It's like, oh, where is it? Because <laughs> I needed it later on. So yeah, I mean, it's a really, really good card. That play I just demonstrated, I did that at total random. I didn't have that set up. I just like, I picked out the five cards in there that wouldn't really help with any combos, but when I shuffled them back in and drew three new cards, that was, I was not expecting that. And that duality got me that Hanzo, it was just, <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's the beauty of this card, you can send any cards you want. That means you can still keep cards and then maybe plan ahead if you get the right cards. It's really good. I mean, probably something you'd want to side deck first to see if you really need it. But, uh, I mean... It's a really good card, and it's not that difficult to get. You can get in, like, the Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Uh, I, I think that's, like, the most easy... That's the easiest way to get it as of now is the Raw Yellow Mega Pack because I think it comes in, like, some older structure decks, like, somewhere in the first ten structure decks that they ever made. So, like, the... Those, like, really old ones from back... From, like, back in the day. Those ones. I think it's, I think it comes like the sixth one, the spellcaster, the first spellcaster st structure deck. So yeah, it's not that difficult to get. I mean, you can buy it online, trade for it. People don't really see the value in that card. It's really good, and that's why I'm, that's why I run it now. I mean, just from doing this, I decided to put it back in my deck. I mean, see, bring it back. Maybe it'll help me out in a couple duels. I just know I've been 
needing that card. So, I mean, yeah, it's... Really good. So, um, thanks for watching, and like I said, I'll probably be doing one of these segments every uh, Tuesday. And I might be introducing a new segment to my channel on uh, Wednesdays. Uh, I think it's going to be like... It's probably not going to be that really that long of a segment because um it's going to be some it's going to be more about banned cards. So it's going to be like why this card why this card got banned. I think I think it's just going to be like why this card got banned. So it's going to be talking about the uh ban list that's effective this Friday. Um and all the previous ban lists and all the cards that are still banned and like why I think they're banned or why I should think they should unban it. <clears throat> It'll be like one segment. I'll be like, why I think this card's banned. And then I'll give my thoughts on if it should be unbanned or not. And uh, I think that's it for now. I might do like, uh, I might do something on like Fridays, like card, card discussion or something. So like, I'll look up the uh, new the new pack that's coming out, Lord of the uh, Judgment of the Light. And I'll just check out any new cards there that I think are like pretty cool. Cause I already saw one there, and I might I might want to do something about that. So I don't know, that's something I might do on Fridays. Uh, so yeah, I mean I got segment. I get, I might do deck profiles on Monday. This segment on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday we have that. Uh, why well, I think this card got banned. Thursday I don't do videos, and I can guarantee that. Friday. Um, Friday, I'll do be doing what I just said, you know, the, uh, wow, keep blanking out, so, oh, card dis discussion, Saturdays, uh, for now, it's probably going to be, like, deck profiles or updates or something, until I can get, um, until I save up enough to get something, because I don't have any money now, because I can't help but spend some of it on food, so, and then Sunday, that might be like an every other week sort of thing. Might be, I'm not sure. So, I mean, you can expect you can expect like six videos a week from me, and that's, I mean, that's like minimum because I might do like two, but probably not. I, mean, I might have something. I don't know. It's it's all over the place, but as of now, you know, I have a schedule now. So, yeah. This is Devin signing out.